I'm back again to show you a few more tips on how to use your word art using PicMonkey. I've already placed my word art on my photo, so we can jump right in. If you do not know how I got to this point, please go back and watch our first video before watching this one. Okay, so here's my overlay, and I'm going to show you something that I forgot to show you before. So let's say that you want to add kind of a drop shadow to this. So let's say that you want your overlay to be white and the background is white and it blends in too much. You want to make it pop a little bit more. What you want to do is right click on your overlay and you want to make sure that this box is around it that it's selected before you right click. So do that and then come down here and click on duplicate overlay. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this one so we can really see the difference. And then I'm just going to move it up. Just like that. And that creates a drop shadow. If you want you can click on your darker overlay and maybe do this before and you can make it lighter if you don't want a super dark one and you can just move it back over just like that okay something else that you can do whoops is you can change multiple colors on this so let's say that you want your hearts to be we'll have the text be pink and we'll have the hearts be red. So what you want to do is you want to right click on that again and duplicate it. Now you want to change this one to be red. And now we want to put it exactly over top of the other one. And the reason why I had you change the color first is so that you can see if any of that back color pops through. Okay, now what you want to do is go to your eraser and this time we are going to have our eraser hardness up. And then you're just going to go through and erase whatever you don't want to be red. Just like that. And that's how you can have more than one color in there. Now if you painted too much of it off, like I did that heart part right there, you can click on this paintbrush and you can go back. I'm going to make my brush size a little bit smaller so I don't get the words. And you can go back and paint that over to be sure that it stays red. And that's all there is to it. So that's how we got multiple colors in here. If you want to have it have more of a gradient effect, you can change your brush hardness down to the softer color and kind of paint it back on in a few places. Oops. Paint it back on in a few places to give it kind of a gradient effect here. And that's all there is to it. If you have any other questions about this, please email us at bp4uguides at gmail.com and we'll be happy to help you.